Hey guys, it's Ricky here. I'm here today with my 95 VS Senator. Yes, you can buy an old VS and not get a Southern Cross tattoo. So it's become apparent that there's a lot of people who can't change a tire. So I've decided to make a video, a simple video on how to change a tire. Now let's get one thing straight. Yes, that is my car. Yes, it is fully sick. And no, I don't want to LS swap it. If I wanted a fast car, I'd buy a Ford. So everything we're gonna need for today should already be in the car. Let's pretend you didn't see that. All right, so we're gonna need a spare tire. Make sure it's not flat. Tire, all right? And a jack. Pro tip, chuck this thing in the bin and get yourself a trolley jack. These things are really dangerous. They're really unstable. Much like my current mental state. But for the purpose of this video, I will use this jack because this is what most people have. Ah, fuck. Start by cracking all wheel nuts while the tire is still on the ground. Now just remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And ladies, don't be afraid to get in there with a knee or a foot or whatever you need to if they're a bit stubborn. Now this is probably the most important part. Make sure that you're jacking off from the right area. Uh, jacking off. If you don't know where the jack point is, consult with your owner's manual. This thing doesn't have nearly enough pictures in it. If you have a look under the sill, you should see a metal part with a half moon cut out of it. That's where you want to put your jack. With these teeth on either side of that rim. inch off the ground then just finish the nuts off. Now put these in a safe place. There's nothing worse than losing your nuts. Now the safest thing to do is to put the wheel under the car for extra support just in case an accident should happen. Sadly, I have to do this fairly often because I like my tire gap like my thigh gap. Heaps of rubbing. So now do the whole thing again but in reverse. Now you want to tighten the nuts in a star pattern. So once you've got the car back on the ground, take your tire iron and tighten the crap out of those wheel nuts. And that's it, you're done. Now nothing says I've made poor choices in life more than some dickhead bogan trying to do a burnout in their own garage. <laughs>